What happens in cold weather? If you look at the side of this trailer, you notice the vertical lines all the way down with frost on them. And what you're actually noticing and seeing here in these vertical lines is the two by two tube aluminum that's used to construct a vacuum bonded wall. By contrast, let's just have a look at this trailer right next door. This Aspen Trail, you notice you don't see any vertical lines anywhere along it or horizontal lines for that matter, because this is built with two by two wood studs, traditional RV construction. They've been doing it for 60, 70 years. This is better insulated than that is in that sense in the wall construction. Both walls are two inches thick. Both walls are insulated. Both walls are structurally sound. But the big difference is even when you're buying a great big toy hauler or something that you want to live in permanently or on a job site in cold weather, what you're going to contend with is that heat transfer. When the air outside is colder than the air on the inside of your RV, moisture starts to build on the inside and that heat transfer is something you really have to pay attention to and that's no bull.